so yeah actually how was its uh, assessment uh, procedure any talk on that how was the assessment and how many round of sections were there any talk on that there were three rounds the okay. first round was uh, of aptitude round okay. mm-hmm. uh, which consisted of mcq questions related to a uh, common aptitude question okay and the second round uh, was interview round uh, okay. in this round uh, it was a technical interview round mm-hmm. so uh, the interviewer asked the questions related to uh, mm-hmm. technical questions related to programming and sql okay and mm-hmm. the third round was hr round where they uh, taught uh, where they Mm-hmm. Uh, let us know about the company and uh, its work culture and about the job profile. Okay. So coming to assessment, Ashay, like how were the questions basically? The logical reasoning and uh, the grammar kind of questions and uh, how were the questions basically? Coming to the coding part also, like how were the questions? Can you talk on that? In the first round, the uh, uh, aptitude round, the questions were like com- uh, easy to moderate level. Mm-hmm. It was uh, not that difficult and... Uh, Uh, there were uh, common aptitude questions like quantitative aptitude, and okay. uh, I think there were few logical reasoning questions. Okay. And uh, in uh, in the second round, uh, the technical interview round, mm-hmm. uh, it was uh, conducted. Uh, there was no uh, technical assessment uh, okay. round mm-hmm. on the, uh, after clearing the aptitude round. Aptitude. Okay. We uh, we were asked to give technical interview. Okay. So no no so coding in the inter. No. No coding question in assessment, Ashish. No coding question. No, no, there was no any coding questions in assessment. We were directly um, okay. asked to give a technical interview. So in assessment, were like only aptitude questions were there, and no, I uh, no predict the output of a given program. No such kind of questions, correct? Mm-hmm. Only logical reasoning, aptitude kind of questions were there, correct? Yes. Okay. What was the time period, uh, Ashish? Like, what was how long was the assessment? Any idea? The assessment was of uh, one hour. One hour. Okay. Ah, uh, did they say to you know turn on the camera? The camera assessment like was on. Anything like that? We have to turn on the oh, camera. Yeah, I don't remember that. Okay. No, no problem. So once your assessment is done, uh, next was the technical round. Correct. Yes. So how much time <clears throat> it took to get uh, the assessment result? Any idea? Actually, ah, uh, they gave us a chart. So basically, okay. they said that uh, they would uh, before the technique uh, before the aptitude round, they would mm-hmm. give us a pre-placement talk okay. in mm-hmm. which uh, they would uh, uh, talk about the profile the company, mm-hmm. okay, okay, uh, and uh, the staff and the internship about mm-hmm. everything, okay, and uh, answer the questions that students may have. So okay. after that, uh, actually, uh, they try to do everything uh, in one day. One like nine okay. uh, a.m. to ten a.m. Uh, the mm-hmm. placement talk. Okay. And from ten a.m. to eleven a.m. the aptitude round. Okay. And after the two hours, the result will be declared, mm-hmm. and okay. then we would have to give the technical interview round. Okay. But, uh, this was not possible because the number of students was very much. Mm-hmm. So uh, the whole process, like uh, from uh, the aptitude round to mm-hmm. the HR interview round, uh, all of them were completed within the three days. Okay. So, how was the technical round? What are the questions they ask? Like, how was your experience in the technical round? Can you talk on that? Uh, the technical round uh, lasted for like twenty uh, minutes. Okay. My technical round lasted for twenty minutes, but mm-hmm. uh, many of my friends gave it for like thirty, uh, forty. Uh, okay. Minutes, and uh, the questions were not that difficult. Uh, okay. It was uh, uh, simple interview questions mm-hmm. and uh, concepts related to. object oriented programming structure okay mm-hmm. uh, there was also a sql question basically yes. uh, they asked for the theoretical mm-hmm. questions related to programming okay and then uh, uh, they gave a <clears throat> my interview uh, my interviewer gave a word file uh, he said a word file link okay mm-hmm. and there he uh, copy pasted the questions okay mm-hmm. and uh, like uh, he pasted one question and i would have to write the code for it there mm-hmm. okay And uh, after uh, I finish writing the answer, he would give another question. Like mm-hmm. uh, I think he gave uh, six, seven uh, programming related okay. questions and okay. uh, two SQL related questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, say like, uh, do you remember the question? Those uh, six questions. Do you remember any among two to three kind of questions? If you remember, you can uh, just say out or else it's totally fine. Uh, one question was uh, find the number of uh, uh, occurrences of a okay. character mm-hmm. in your name. Okay. You know, name or award. Okay. Word. And uh, in SQL, 
we have to find the second highest salary. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I have it. Yeah. Find all the combinations in the list with the given condition. Okay. And, uh, they were uh, i don't remember much okay it's it's totally fine so basically questions were uh, like uh, what was the domain basically totally depend upon arrays or strings like what what kind of questions were there actually uh, the questions related to arrays also dictionary okay mm -hmm. and uh, i think there was also variable swap question mm -hmm. uh, okay. the common question like uh, swap two variables without using the third variable mm -hmm. okay so coming to in SQL, SQL uh, yeah, yeah, in yeah. SQL, uh, uh, the second highest salary mm -hmm. is also a common question. And uh, the second question was, I think, uh, find uh, our data mm -hmm. by combining, by using join okay. uh, in two tables. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was all about uh, the technical. Uh, no situation-based question, no other kind of questions. Correct? No. So, so did they ask anything regarding the project, Tashay? The academic project, uh, any such uh, kind of no, question? no, they didn't. All right. So apart from uh, the coding actually, code... uh, when I told them, uh, yeah. when I told them I'm from uh, my technical background, mm -hmm. so they didn't ask me about any personal project. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, any academic project, but mm -hmm. uh, I did uh, try to uh, share them my GitHub uh, mm -hmm. live okay. uh, live version of my GitHub project. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. And they can see what I built. Okay, mm -hmm. that's all. All right. So this was all about uh, the technical round. So are we missing anything? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Are we missing? No. Uh, uh, no technical round just considered of theoretical. Uh, like they yeah. asked me uh, with which language I'm comfortable. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I told them uh, JavaScript. JavaScript. Okay. But uh, they were more they were more interested in uh, Java. Java. Okay. Uh, they asked me questions related to Java, okay. um, concepts related to uh, oops, oops, and okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. they told me that uh, the tech stack would be Java, mm -hmm. SQL. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, they also asked me a question related to JavaScript. JavaScript. Okay. Basically, uh, uh, they gave uh, they uh, gave us uh, like a problem scenario mm -hmm. where you have to build a form, okay, and uh, you have to validate the input. Mm -hmm. Using okay. uh, so how you, how you would add the event to the button okay. so mm -hmm. as uh, it validates the input. So mm -hmm. I had to write that code in JavaScript. Okay, all right. So yeah, this was all about uh, the technical round. So how much time it took Kashe uh, like to get the technical round result? Any idea? Result, I think uh, within a day. Okay, less than twenty four hours probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned, after technical round, it was uh, HR, correct? Yes, it was HR round. So how was it? How was your opinion? How was your experience, HR experience? Uh, HR round was uh, easy. Like uh, they just uh, told if I am okay with all the conditions mm -hmm. that the company has, and I would have to relocate to Kolkata. Okay. So they also told. Uh, they also asked me. If I had done my prior research about the company, okay, and uh, they checked uh, what I know about the company, company. what work uh, they do, okay. <clears throat> what mm -hmm. I understand about uh, mm -hmm. the company, so that was all. And they also told that uh, the inter about the internship mm -hmm. when it would start, how much stipend it would be paid. Okay. Actually, okay. they covered the most of the part uh, during the uh, pre placement talk. Pre placement so talk. Okay. There was yeah. not really much to okay. ask during that around. All right. So yeah, how much time it took uh, to get the final result, uh, final selected result mail? Any idea? Uh, the final selected mail, I think it took time, like uh, within a week. Every uh, all week. the process was completed within a week. Uh, okay. Uh, so how was it, uh, Ashley? Like, what was the update? Is it kind of you know they will be sending a result through the mail or is it a telephonic call? How was it? Uh, <laughs> the result was uh, sent to our uh, placement. Uh, Okay, office. college okay. college placement. Okay. All right. So this was all about uh, its hiring procedure. So what is the role, uh, Ashay? What is the job description, job uh, designation? Can you talk on that? Uh, the <clears throat> uh, the role is uh, called associate solution engineer. Okay, associate and, solution. And uh, it includes uh, uh, actually this company has a product which okay. is uh, uh, labor laboratory information management okay. system. Mm -hmm. 
so we would have to configure the product and mm -hmm. uh, uh, like uh, customize it according to the needs of the clients mm -hmm. so in this uh, job profile we would have to use java java javascript okay. and mm -hmm. uh, sql mm -hmm. okay so coming to its uh, ctc yes any talk on that uh, yes the inter before the becoming full time employee mm -hmm. we would have to undergo uh, an internship of 6 months okay mm -hmm. and during internship we would pay the 25000 okay mm -hmm. and uh, after <clears throat> uh, and after the internship you would be <clears throat> joining as a full time employee mm -hmm. and that would uh, 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 we would get a ctc of 4.5 Okay. Then after six months of full time employment, mm -hmm. okay, the salary will be uh, um, changed. Like uh, depending on our performance, performance. it mm -hmm. would be okay. uh, five, six, or seven lakhs. Okay. But so, uh, we would have to sign a bond. Okay. Of one year. One year. So, uh, do you have any idea regarding its a penalty? Actually, like a bond breakage mm -hmm. penalty. I think it was one lakhs. One lakh. All right. So. Yeah, sir. Sure, I guess we have covered everything. So, anything we are missing? Mm -hmm. If if you want to say anything, is it time? We can say anything. Um, no, I don't think we are missing anything. And its office is uh, mm -hmm. uh, only in Kolkata. Uh, we were told that uh, we would uh, we might have to move to uh, okay. uh, uh, Europe or mm -hmm. some other location if okay. the need arises. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in India, there's only one office that is in Kolkata. Kolkata. Okay. So yeah, Ashay, how is it working more currently? Like, is it work from office or is it hybrid mode? How was it? Any talk on that? Uh, it is in hybrid mode. Like, okay. Uh, three days of office. Okay. And uh, two days uh, would be work from home, but uh, it depends on the manager. Manager. Okay. All right. So yeah, Ashay, I guess we have covered everything. So I really appreciate you for taking time and joining us. You know, sharing your company experience with our audience, and uh, really appreciate man. Thanks once again. Thank you. And yeah, guys, this is our first talk. And if you're not a subscriber to our channel, hit the bell icon and subscribe. And guys, we also have a Telegram community group called WeGrow. Our link has been found in the description. And if you have any kind of queries, make use of YouTube comment section. Surely I'll be answering them. And I say once again, thank you man for joining us. And yeah, guys, this is our best talk. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.